I'm Chewy Mew, but my real name is Eric, and welcome to another Chewy Mew review, where today we're taking a look at a figure that is brand new for me. And that is the Marvel Legends uh, Hydro Man figure from the Molten Man Build-A-Figure series, which is also has some figures from the uh, Far From Home series. So at the top, we've got a read-up, which says, Knocked into the ocean by Spider-Man during the testing of an experimental generator. Maris? Morris? I think that's his... Yeah, Morris Bench gains the ability to transform his entire body into water. Just my living. I actually got this at a comic book shop uh, maybe like a week ago, and I decided not to open it just so I could do this review and have it be open. And it was like, so he was selling this figure and a bunch of other uh, figures from this wave. The, on, the only other, the other ones he was selling was, you know, Spider-Man, this Spider-Man. Uh, don't know if there was Doppelganger, Scorpion, Spider-Woman, and I don't think there was Mysterio. Since I'm not a big fan of the Mar of the MCU Spider-Man, I didn't bother getting either of those figures, so I just got this guy. It was like, I think it was like eight or nine dollars, just because these he was still selling those figures, but the movie is like a year ago maybe. So he was just selling them to you know sell them quick. And this one, as you can see, it's got some package damaging, like this damage here. It's actually been opened. I never opened it. But I guess he opened it, maybe, or something, and this part's kind of flappy there. And I've got Hydro Man out of packaging. Set him aside really quick. And he also comes with the Build-A-Figure head. Or the, yeah, the Build-A-Figure head for Molten Man, which I guess is based off the uh, Far From Home figure. Yeah. Which I'm probably not going to end up completing this Build-A-Figure just because uh, I, I don't I don't really care about the Scorpion, the Spider-Woman, and the two and the two Spider-Man figures. So I'm probably not going to do the Build-A-Figure. Mm -hmm. It looks pretty good. Uh, it looks like kind of like the same body as one of the Luke Cage figures, except instead of having, you know, regular arms, he has these crazy water arms. Let's take a look at the face first. You can actually take these water things off. Set him back there. He's pretty heavy on the... He's pretty heavy, which I'm glad that they didn't just make these hollow, but actually it's like full plastic. Comes with these little water things where, see on the bottom underneath, you can stick them on his feet. They don't like, you know... Like, it's not made by Toy Biz, so they don't, like, you know, stick on good. They just kind of just plop them there. <laughs> they look pretty good. Good water detail. It's kind of see-through. So you kind of see my finger back there a little bit. They're pretty good looking. Set those aside. And he's got some good weight, which that's that's pretty good. Like, pretty good weight. Like, maybe about as heavy as a water bottle. I've got this water bottle. It's not a drink. This is, I use this for, like, a clay and stuff. And, uh... They actually feel kind of the same weight, so that's pretty good. Pretty good weight. It's like see-through material. Looks really good. You can kind of see my hand going through it, which that's pretty good. The arms are really stiff. I feel like I'm gonna break the arm moving the arms up. Like I feel it's like it's gonna break. But let's take a look at the face. There's the face. It looks kind of weird. He looks like he looks kind of creepy. Like he's you know smiling creepily. Which, I don't know if I consider Hydra Man a creepy villain, but, you know, like a sticking out chin, kind of big chubby nose. He's got like, looks like a scar on his forehead right there. Looks like a scar right there on his forehead. He's got the hair like, kind of like, just, you know, there. Uh, his, the eye paint and the face sculpt looks pretty good. On the back of the head, there's just more hair and stuff. The shirt, the shirt doesn't have any texture. He does have, like, a slight belly. Like, if you look from the side, he's, he's not, like, you know, lean. He's got, like, a slight chubby belly. His shirt, like, has, like, a bunch of wrinkles everywhere, which is probably because, like, it's wet or something. The arms look pretty good, and there's a fist here. Got a fist, and this hand is, like, a grabbing hand. And when I took it out of the packaging, the hand comes off. The, the two fists, or the two hands, you can actually pop the two hands off, which... And I guess you could do that, like, if he just has, like, he's, like, shooting water or something, I guess you could do that. Put these hands back in. The pants also... Is that in? Yeah, that's in. The pants also have, like, a texture. Like, they kind of feel textured, like, kind of rough. Same here. Here, they didn't sculpt a zipper on there, which... Who cares? <laughs> the pants, he has two back pockets, and the shoes are just, you know, regular, plain, like, uh... Like, uh... Brown shoes, like boots kind of thing like i don't know what these are called they've got the thing on the bottom and the bottom of the foot it says made in china because you know everything's made in china and then the other foot says hasbro or marvel 2016 hasbro that's not focusing but trust me it's made by hasbro <laughs> so it's a pretty good looking figure i don't think it looks bad definitely um 
good. This is like the only other Hydro Man than the uh, Toy Biz Spider-Man Classics Hydro Man where he's wearing like, it looks like kind of like Iron Man armor, uh, which I had and unfortunately the upper torso broke. Like, cause it was, it was, uh, his arms were just stuck in a position like this. You could only rotate the arms around. You couldn't rotate the hands. You couldn't bend the elbows, nothing. Then his head, which he just had a head and the bottom legs were normal. And there was just like this water fountain thing that you could stick on his torso. So th they would separate from here and he would spray, uh, you could stick them, like fill it with water and press a button and he would like shoot water out of the holes from his hands, which as a kid, that was kind of fun. And I think the figure broke somehow. The upper torso broke, and all that survived was basically his legs and the head. That was it. So I, I eventually used the head for a custom, and the legs are just maybe for a future custom. But either way, let's take a look at his articulation. So the head's on a bulger, and you get a pretty good range of motion. The neck goes up, not too far, but it goes down all the way. He can look down at his belly. <laughs> head rotates all the way around as well. The arms rotate all the way around, and like I showed earlier, they're very stiff to move. Very, they make a satisfying click sound, but they're too stiff. Like, moving it, I feel like I'm going to break the figure, which I don't want to do. The arms here, he doesn't have a double joint, and that's understandable, but the arms, they don't really bend. That's kind of like all they bend. They go back, and they go forward like that, but they do rotate here, and they don't really move too far out in either direction when you move it. And the hand rotates all the way around. It, this one pops out easier than the other one. It has a hinge in the wrist. You know, that'd actually be pretty cool if you could put this on, like, a regular figure's hand. That way you can have, like, I don't know, like, customize him regular arms or something. This hand has the same articulation. The arm bends not, doesn't really bend that good. And also, there's this loop right here. It looks like you could, like, you know, hook him on your keys. Have him hanging from your key ring. That's <laughs> going to add, like, two pounds to it gonna move the arms up he has a torso crunch which it doesn't go forward too much and it goes back goes back pretty good his rotation here in the waist the legs kick up he can almost do the splits he can't do the splits almost you'll break his knees the legs rotate all the way around here also on the leg he's got like a little barcode number thing on the back you can double bend at the knee the foot hinges back a bit it goes forward, and it rotates all the way around. Actually, that rotates pretty good. I thought the pants would stop it, but actually they don't. And yeah, so that's all for Hydro Man. I definitely think this this is one of the times where I think the Hasbro version is better than the Toy Biz version. The Toy Biz version didn't really look... Didn't it, I think it was based off the Ultimate Hydro Man. So I will say I think this one's better. This one has more articulation. It looks more like the, it looks, it doesn't look like too much like the Hydro Man from the animated series, but it looks, you know, more like Hydro Man. It also has a good water effects. The other one just had like a water tower and would squirt water out of his, out of like this spot, like right there on his hand. Kind of dumb. As a kid, that's like a cool gimmick, but as like a collector, like I am now, that's kind of boring. And these water effects, these don't stick on too good, but they, you know, it's fine. I might... Just when I display them, I might put some glue dots on here or something and get them, get them to be, you know, displayed pretty good. You know, if you like this video, leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff. And let me know what you think about this Hydro Man figure. And if you know the Toy Biz figure of Hydro Man I'm talking about, let me know what you think about that guy too. I would have loved to review it, but unfortunately mine broke. But either way, that's going to be all for this video. See you in the next one. Wow.